Hey, thanks for checking out my video. A lot of people ask me all the time, how do I set up my POB properly? Uh, I, I have the same same exact gear as you, but I have half of the damage. Uh, I, people people say that to me all the time. So either you you don't have the same gear, or you're not configuring your POB properly. So I thought I'd make a quick video. How do you actually set up your POB configs correctly so you can see your damage, okay? It's really easy. First thing, power and frenzy charges on. Okay, you're gonna have these from Assassin's Mark quality th that you're gonna have. You're gonna have Assassin's Mark quality, right, guys? Frenzy charges. You'll get these from the Mark Mastery or from Blood Rage while you're mapping. Uh, onslaught. If you have a Silver Flask on, this will be on automatically. But if you're getting onslaught from a, a Totem Cluster Jewel or from a Circle of Fear Implicit or from some other place, you have to make sure this is on. Uh, Fortify doesn't matter for damage. Elusive. Make sure elusive is checked here. Make sure it just stays on average. Uh, this will give you just an average damage. But the, your elusive is very bursty. Okay, when your elusive first procs, it's going to be at like 220% or something. If you type that in, you can see your like maximum burst damage if you have all of your charges up and everything. Uh, but just keep this at nothing, and it'll show you just an average with your elusive proc. Okay. Uh, the rest of this stuff here, uh, I'll go into in a minute. Come down here, close range mastery. If you have that accuracy close range mastery, make sure this box right here is checked. If you have blind and you are relying on blind for accuracy capping, make sure that blind is checked here. And then for ailments, make sure ignite is checked. You will be igniting from heat shivers fire damage. Okay, as long as you crit with heat shiver on, you will ignite because you'll have fire damage. 30 chill is very easy to get on pretty much everything. Make sure that you have 30 chill here. You can put freeze here as long as you have enough damage, which you probably will if you have a, more than about 25 or 30 million damage. You're probably going to be freezing everything. Uh, if you have brittle on your boots, make sure you, you apply it properly and, and make sure this is checked. This is how you're going to crit cap. And then 50 shock. You will you will reach 50 shock even on pinnacle bosses. Uh, so make sure that says 50 shock. Especially if you have this this mastery right here. This is why it's important to take this mastery right here. If you don't have this mastery, it can be hard to get 50 shock, uh, especially on bosses. And then that's basically it for the for the basics. Make sure this says guardian pinnacle boss right here. If this says if this says nothing, then your damage is going to be inflated like quite a bit. And then if you want to see your uber damage, you can change it to ubers, and your uber damage will be uh, about <laughs> one quarter of your regular damage. Uh, but then the details from here, if you have some certain items, you have to check more things. Like the taming, for example, here. If you have a taming, you need to, you need to move this up to three for ignite, shock, and freeze for three here for taming. If you have Intimidate on your Lethal Pride, make sure you check Intimidate right here. Uh, I don't have it. And then coming up back here again, number of nearby enemies. This is for Opportunistic right here. If you have an Opportunistic Forbidden Flame and Forbidden Flesh, uh, that will create this mod, this config mod right here. Make sure it says uh, zero or one. If it goes up to two, your damage will drop down a lot. Uh, and then, have you crit recently? This is for like an attack speed abyss jewel, uh, one like this right here. Attack speed if you've dealt a crit recently. If you have a jewel like this, or if you have a mod like that, make sure that this is checked. And then, um, there's one or two other things like uh, have you summoned a totem recently? It will be here if you have uh, one of the totem mods that says that, and. There's one or two other things that can have to be on here, but for the most part, those are the basics right there. If you have all these things configured properly, this will be your realistic damage here. And then one other thing, the way to see full damage here, come to your skills, go to Frost Blades, and click on Include in Full Damage, okay? And then go to your totems too, and include your totems in full damage, especially if you're using Culling Strike here. And then... You're going to have two, two Ancestral Protector Totems down, so make change this to two, and then turn on Vol Warchief and regular Warchief, because you're going to have one of each. 
You're going to have one Vol War Chief, one regular War Chief, and two Ancestral Totems. And that is possible to do that. And then you'll also show your culling damage here. So that is how you show your full damage on the build right there. And I think that's pretty much it. As long as you do all this stuff properly here, you, you will be able to see your damage. If you turn all this stuff off, your damage is going to be down to nothing, okay? So come, come in here and make sure you have all this stuff on properly, and you'll be able to see how much damage you're doing. And that's it. That's how you check your damage. That's how you set up POB. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're having fun in the league. I am loving this league. Stop by the stream, uh, twitch.tv slash zishpoe, or check out my YouTube channel, subscribe. I got lots of crafting videos and good stuff there. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.